Cristiano Ronaldo sits in an ice bath for three minutes after every training session. LeBron James has a cryotherapy chamber in his house. Andrew Huberman, a Stanford neuroscientist, takes ice baths every single morning before work. What do they know that you don't? Cold exposure doesn't just build physical toughness. It physically restructures your neural pathways. And in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how this happens. Backed by neuroscience, the hidden benefit, dopamine reset. Now here's something most people don't know about cold exposure. It fixes your broken dopamine system. Here's the problem with modern life. You're getting constant dopamine drips. Social media notifications. Snacks. Entertainment. Your brain never has to wait for anything. And when dopamine comes too easily, your baseline drops. You need more and more stimulation just to feel normal. You can't focus. You can't delay gratification. You always need the next thing. Cold exposure does something remarkable. It increases your dopamine by 250%. And this isn't a quick spike that crashes. This is a sustained release that lasts two to four hours after you get out. But here's what's more important. Over time, regular cold exposure resets your dopamine baseline. After 30 days of consistent practice, Tasks that used to feel boring start feeling engaging. Focus comes easier. You need less external stimulation to feel motivated. You're not chasing a quick hit. You're rebuilding your brain's motivation system from the ground up. This is why people who do regular cold exposure report feeling more driven, more focused, more capable of doing hard things, even when they don't feel like it. Your brain on comfort versus cold. Your brain operates in two completely different modes, depending on what you expose it to. When you stay comfortable, your brain runs on autopilot. Neural activation stays minimal. Your stress response systems literally atrophy from lack of use, like muscles you never train. Your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for decision-making, emotional regulation, and staying calm under pressure. It stays dormant. But the moment you step into cold water, everything changes. Your sympathetic nervous system activates immediately. Norepinephrine floods your brain. Studies show a 300% increase within seconds. Your heart rate spikes. Your breathing accelerates. Every system in your body screams at you to get out. And here's where the magic happens. Your prefrontal cortex has to override those panic signals. You're training your brain to stay rational when every instinct says, run. This isn't just about enduring cold. You're building a neural pathway that activates during difficult conversations, high-stakes decisions, moments of fear in your life. The cold becomes your training ground for everything hard. Every time you choose discomfort, you're teaching your brain. I can stay calm when everything feels like chaos. Mental resilience. The voluntary stress pathway. Life throws involuntary stress at you all the time. You lose your job. A relationship ends. A crisis hits that you didn't see coming. And if your brain hasn't practiced handling stress, it panics. This is where cold exposure becomes training for life. Cold is voluntary stress. You choose the discomfort on your terms. You control when it starts and when it stops. Stanford researchers have studied this extensively. They found that practicing voluntary discomfort strengthens your stress resilience in measurable ways. Here's what happens in your brain. Your amygdala, the fear center, learns a new pattern. It learns. This is extremely uncomfortable but I'm safe. I can handle this. And then something incredible occurs. That same neural pattern starts transferring to real stress in your life. When something stressful happens, instead of your brain's default panic response, a new pathway activates. Stay calm. Assess the situation. Make good decisions. 
solve the problem. This isn't about being tough. This is about building new neural pathways that didn't exist before. Every cold shower is one rep of staying calm when everything in my body says panic. After months of practice, your brain's default response to stress fundamentally changes. Neuroplasticity. Accelerated brain change. Now let's talk about what's happening at the cellular level. Your brain isn't fixed. It's plastic. It changes based on what you do with it. Scientists call this neuroplasticity. Cold exposure triggers a massive release of norepinephrine. And norepinephrine isn't just a stress chemical. It's your brain's signal that says, pay attention. This matters. Remember this. When norepinephrine floods your system, your brain enters a state of heightened neuroplasticity. Your neural connections become more moldable. Your brain is literally more open to change in this state. Andrew Huberman, a neuroscientist at MIT, explains it like this. Cold exposure creates an optimal state for learning and adaptation. This is why the best time to learn something new, to practice a difficult skill, to work on a challenging problem, is right after cold exposure. Your brain isn't just enduring the discomfort. It's opening a window where it can rewire itself faster and more effectively than normal. The cold isn't punishment. It's a tool that unlocks your brain's ability to change, the challenge. So here's what I want you to do. The 30-day cold rewiring protocol. Start small. Take your normal morning shower, but for the last 30 seconds, Turn it to full cold. That's it. Just 30 seconds. During week one and two, your only job is to control your breathing. Don't fight the cold. Stay calm. Breathe slowly. Week two and three, increase the duration to one or two minutes of cold. Notice how your body's panic response starts to weaken. By week four, Try a full cold shower, or if you're ready, an ice bath. Here's what you'll notice. Week one feels brutal. Your brain resists every single morning. You'll want to quit. Week two, something shifts. Your morning clarity improves dramatically. You feel more focused throughout the day. By week four, stress in your daily life feels more manageable. Decision-making gets sharper. Things that used to overwhelm you now feel like problems you can solve. The science is absolutely clear. Cold exposure rewires your brain for resilience, focus, and mental toughness. Your brain builds itself based on what you expose it to. Every single day, you're making a choice. Comfort or growth. The cold isn't your enemy. It's the tool. The only question left is, what are you going to build?